What's going on your feisty mofos? John GTFO here and welcome back to the Portuguese series. Today we're going to be looking at the month of February and rounding up all the action that took place. So we're going to go over to the fixtures right now and have a good old fucking look at it. The definition of domination is Porto versus Old Hansians, whatever their fucking name is. 4-0 win here, James Rodriguez and Wagner Love getting a hat-trick for us. Big boy! 21 shots, 7 on target, and 54% possession. They only had 5 shots done on target, and you can do the math with 100% possession there. Uh, we're still not pulling in that much attendance. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of disappointing that we're not the most watched team in Portugal. I think it's Benfica, and then supporting Lisbon, then us for some reason. I don't even know where they're Porto even based. So it might be in a really shit populated area, but I thought all the glory hunters would have a couple of times to come down, but, no, you know, whatever. I think this is a League Cup game. I'm honestly not that sure. But we end up winning 5-2 against Vic Gomares, which is my f fucking bogey team on there. Fucking hate him so much. The only team I've lost to so far. It wasn't even at home. It's third phase group B. Fuck knows what that means. But we dominated the game as usual. Danny, Freddy Gorin, who's now at Inter Milan, I think, or some shit like that. Nuno Assis, got an own goal, and Wagner Love getting on the score sheet. Edgar Silva and Mar... Marus Alexi, Al Alexi, Alexi, oh fuck knows, it was 2-2 two two at half time, we managed to score 3 goals in the second half to secure the win, with 25 shots, 9 on target and 58% possession, another really good performance from the lads, and a well deserved victory, if you might say so myself. Now we've moved on to the Taca de Portugal semi-final leg 2, yep, and this was... <laughs> This pretty much secured the win for us. We were 3-0 up from the first leg. I managed in the second leg, 4-2 away at Por... Almost said Porto because that's P-O-R in Sporting's name. Just there for some reason. But Sporting scored with Anderson Polga and Marata Izamalov. I'm assuming Hulk, Wagner Love getting on the score sheet. And Hulk missed a penalty for his hat-trick. Which is an, a piss take. It would have been great for him to get a hat trick. But we did actually get dominating possession this game. They had 59% possession, but we create the chances and we took ours. And even with a three goal buffer, even if we'd lost this game 2 0, we still would have won. So, you know, it was a, it was a, not the best performance. I wasn't particularly happy with it. But overall, we're through to the final of the Taca de Portugal. So, you know, overall, it was a pretty good victory. And, you know, it's looking up for that cup to come on. This game was a lot closer than it should be. Danny Leo getting his first goal for the club and Stephen Defoe getting it, but Peter Franquart made this game a little bit more interesting in the second half by getting a goal for Real Ave, who we have smashed in the past, I think, 7-0 once, I think. I'm not sure, it might be in the future, but I'm sure we beat them pretty heavily once, and it really, really was disappointing, the performance from the lads. I mean, shots, we created the chances, which could not take them for some reason. Was Wagner Love playing? Was Hulk playing? What, what was going on? Clever, that's fucking why Clever and Rodriguez were playing. It's not even fucking score, man, eh? That's why I had to buy Wagner Love, because Clever's fucking dog. Oh, I'd fucking take anyone over that piece of shite. Hopefully going to get rid of him the second season if I can get a replacement for him. But, you know, a victory is a victory and three points more for Porto and I'll climb up the table even though we are still at the top. Ah, fuck it. This is the biggest game of the entire season so far, a 2-1 victory away into Milan. We went 1-0 down to a Helton own goal, but basically it's one of those own goals where the player shoots and the goalie spills it into the net. Helton, oh no, I think we can, if we can watch this, I think this is the one that was ridiculous. Wait, let's have a gander. This may take a while to load, but I genuinely think this was the one where the, he crossed it in and Helton fumbled it into the net even though it wasn't going in. This may take a while to load. God knows, I'll just talk over it for a while. Oh no, here we go, 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 here we go. Set up match. This is good. But yeah, 2-1 away into Milan. This is such a big game. We managed to get two away goals. So if we even, even if we lose against Inter Milan at home, which I don't want to do anyway, if we lose 1-0 against Inter Milan, it means we still go through. Oh, come on, set up the fucking goal. I think this is the most embarrassing own goal of all time. Here we go, here we go. Melito running down the wing. I don't know how much you can see of this, but Melito runs down the wing, crosses it in. It's not going in, and Helton puts it in the net. <sighs> if he wasn't captain, I would have genuinely sold him for that, but he's been solid all season, so he might get a bit of a leeway for that, considering we still won. But Dede getting a goal, and Wagner Love getting a goal, and Javier Zanetti getting sent off, probably won us the game. 
Him getting sent off in the 44th minute probably won us the game, not going to lie to you, because otherwise Inter Milan were pretty much all over us for that first couple first couple of minutes. But as soon as Dele got the goal from the corner, it kind of kind of changed around, but Zanetti going just fucking, oh, unleash the fury of Porto on your lads. I mean, you can see by the chances created, the sh shots on target, and then the 54% possession, that we actually should have won this game and we deserve to win. So it is a big win, and it is the Champions Cup, or Champions League, first knockout round, leg one, and we take an advantage back to the Dragao. So, let's hope for the best. An easy return to Premier League action here, with a 3-0 win over Pacos de Ferreira. Day Day and Freddy Guarín getting the goals, and Manuel Jose scoring an own goal, and getting booked as well. So, pretty boring game, really, with 13 chances, 4 on target, 56% possession. It wasn't really that exciting. But, you know, it's one of those games where if three points and you take them away and it's, a, it's deserved three points, you don't do, you don't play particularly well, but you don't need to because your opponents don't play particularly well either. Eh, there you go. Big win here against Braga, one of the better teams in the Portuguese league. Who actually is a, are they sponsored by AXA Home Insurance? Didn't realise that was in fucking Portugal. Never mind. Wagner Love getting a hat-trick. No, Holt getting a hat-trick and Wagner Love getting on the score sheet and Lima getting a goal back for Braga, which did that. Nah, I think we were 2 0 up and made it a bit interesting when he scored because I made it 2 1. Very undeserved goal. And he had two shots on target and they scored one of them. But we had 23 chances, 11 shots on target, and 58% possession. A brilliant performance from the lads against Braga, especially. Again, away from home as well, which is brilliant. Estadio uh, fucking Axa. Estadio Axa. Fucking hell, I didn't realise Axa came from Portugal. But uh, would you look at that? In February, a gusty 25 degrees. Oh. Oh, chilly, chilly. There's not long in the season left, guys, of the Premier League season anyway. We've only got pff, two, three more episodes to come up with now. And I might actually join the next episode after the March one together because there's not really that many games. But as you can see, this next month fixture, we start off with a really tough to a tough game against Port Air. Uh, I always say Port every time because it's got the fucking P-O-R in a fucking name. Sporting Inter Nacional de Marelia. We get a Benfica in the League Cup semi-final, which is going to be a big game. That's going to pretty much decide whether we win the League Cup or not, because I'm not sure there's many pe people that can really stop us in that competition still. We've got Gumares, uh, Liera, and Akamekia, and uh, Akamedia. I'm going to assume that. But it's not long in the season left, and we have been forming very, very well. We've only got one loss in the cards. Or two, uh, one of them is against Barcelona, so I'm going to ignore that. And we've got a draw against Wizzler, crack one off. So... This is, this is it, this is it lads. It's going to be an interesting episode, it's going to be the Inter game that's going to decide really what's going to happen in the Champions League. I mean we've got a pretty unfa unfavourable draw to say the least to get into Milan. But it is at home, it is at the Dragao, but it is very, very close to the sporting game. And there's going to be a lot of players probably need to be rested at the sporting game which could risk some, uh, I don't know, I don't really want to risk the 100% home record. Against sporting especially, but ugh, fuck. Didn't even realise that. Bastard. Never mind. Never mind. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please give it a like rating because it does improve penis growth and it improve it will improve you when you have a Whizzler crack one off and it'll make it feel a lot better. So remember like equals penis growth, favourite equals just my heart beating for you. It beats for you, my pretties. My precious. My precious. Anyways, before this gets any more creepy, I'll talk to you lads later and have a good day.